Hello, 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 and welcome back to today's podcast. Thank you very much for being here. I hope all is well. As I'm recording this, we are getting snow. It is not even Halloween. Here's my thing. I do believe, this is just my theory, I have nothing to back it up, but I feel like if it snows here before Halloween, we are going to have a very cold, long, snowy winter. If it snows after Halloween and we have a nice Halloween, typically we have a very mild winter. We got snow. Some parts of our state got like six or seven inches of snow. I got a dusting. I got it was nothing. It was sleeting. Ugh. I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. I was in Arizona and it was 90 and then I come back to this. Now I don't love 90 either. So if anybody knows where like the perfect temperature is, where it's like 70 degrees pretty much all the time, if you could just email me and let me know that, that would be awesome because I would like to live there at least some of the time. Okay. So we are going to talk today about what it is like to work with me because I had somebody ask and it, they said they went through all the podcasts. And so obviously if you guys are asking and you've gone through all the podcasts, that means I have probably not covered it. And I apologize for that. I thought that I mostly had done that, but I maybe not, maybe not. So here's what happens. And this really is important because he asked to like, what do we go over? What do you have to have ready? All that good stuff. If you, after you read the book, after you read the book, I will not meet with you. If you have not read the book, you either have to listen to the book or read the book. In my opinion, it's both right. When I say read the book, listening to the book is the same thing. So you have either had to have listened to or read my book, Nelson's book, somebody's book on the infinite banking concept. Otherwise we're wasting our time. Both of us, not me. We are wasting our time because it is going to take me six to 10 hours to teach you the infinite banking concept. We're not even going to get into any meat and potatoes. So this is what happens. You go through the book. Then we meet in that meeting. I am going to ask you a bazillion questions. I want to know how old you are, how many kids you have. I want to know what we're doing. Do we have a farm? Do we ranch? Are we farming and ranching with family? Do we have a business or do we have a business with family? If we're farming and ranching with the family, who's taking over? How many siblings do we have? Is there an estate plan in place with mom and dad? so that we know what we're getting. If we're not, what's happening there? Um, do we have siblings that we are going to have to contend with when mom and dad pass away? If we do, what is that going to look like? Are we going to have to buy anybody out? Do we have means to do that? Approximately when is that going to be? Are mom and dad ever going to sell beforehand? Okay. Are you the person meeting with me? If you're the one by going to end up with the farm, are you going to be wanting to buy them out ahead of time? Do we need to set up the plan so that we have this death benefit for mom and dad that then helps purchase the operation? Um, then we are going to get into these. Then when all that said and done, that takes a long time sometimes just to get through that part. And it's really funny when people say, well, I don't want to bring you into my family drama. Um, I don't really want to be in your family drama, but it's kind of my job. So if I'm here to help prepare you for this transition and we're trying to save the farm, yeah, I need to know about the family drama. What siblings do we have to watch out for? Why have they already created a problem? Is there already a trust? All that stuff that could take. And then if you have other businesses in it, let's say that you have another business in addition to farming, you have two or three businesses. 
Then we go over each business individually, right? So farming, I want to know your operating costs. I want to know if you have a line of credit. I want to know your gross income. And then if we have other businesses, I want to know, are they an S corp? Are they an LLC? Are you keeping the books separately? If you are keeping the books separately, what does that look like? If you are a corporation, who is, who are the partners of the corporation? Um, all those questions. I have a lot, a lot of questions and I want the numbers. So in, when you guys book an appointment, you get an email right after you book within seconds, you get an email that says, these are the things Mary Jo is going to need in her meeting. Now, most of you come unprepared. Most of you are like, well, I don't know. I didn't have that. You got the link to the meeting. All of that's in there. I need those numbers. So if you come to the meeting thinking I'm going to just go through this meeting with no numbers, you're sadly mistaken. Most people are getting numbers as we're meeting. Sorry, you just don't get as much as my time because you're going to be looking for numbers. We might not get everything covered, but you didn't do homework ahead of time. Then there are people that come that are 100% prepared. That is not often. <laughs> It is not often. And I'm meeting with farmers and ranchers. That is how it goes. I just know that not most of you are not going to prepare. Most of you are not even going to read the email. Whatever. That's your time with me. You get to do what you like. <clears throat> so I want to have what are, how much I need to know what you have loans on. How much do you owe on it? How, what is your payment? How long do you have left? What is the interest rate? Okay. We go over all of your loans. Then we're going to go over any money that you might have in savings and investments and property or anything like that. Then we're going to go over what you have for life insurance. And in that whole process, I am going to be giving you ideas of maybe how we can pay off some debt what we need to do to protect you for the transition if we need to protect you, what we need to do for you to transition out if it's you that's transitioning out. Because that's another thing. Maybe I'm meeting with mom and dad and we have several kids. What do we do? How do we treat them? Do we treat them fairly? How do you want to do it? So we're going to, and, and how do we do it correctly? So we're going to talk about some of that stuff. No. Now let me make this very clear. I am not an estate planner but I am a piece of that estate plan puzzle. And so you need to have myself as the life insurance agent. Yes, we're going to do banking with that policy while you're alive. Absolutely. hundred percent. But we also have to look at what's going to happen when you pass or when mom and dad passes. And so it's a twofold thing. I'm not just here saying, Oh, you need to be buying cars with life insurance. No. Where do we want to go? Are we going to be buying businesses with it? What are we going to do? Yesterday I met with a client who wants $100,000 of operating in two years. He's, and he said, how do I get there? And we reversed the numbers. Instead of him saying, hey, I just want to pay $10,000 a year. He said, how do I get to this number in two years? Well, I know how much you have to put into the policy to have that in two years. So then we have to reverse engineer the numbers and say, well, this is how much you have to put in to have that. And so, and I'm not going to give you a number for that because it all depends on how we structure the policy. Depends on how much money you're going to have in two years. Depends if we add extra year one, all that good stuff. So as we go through the meeting, we are always, I'm always giving you strategies. We're talking about how to maybe make your business better. Um, direct to consumer beef, for example, or how are you marketing? How are you contacting clients? How are you delivering meat? Um, all of these things that are, if you have rental properties, are you doing Airbnbs on them? Are you, what are you doing? Are they vacant? So many things that I am throwing out that the meeting sometimes gets a little bit sidetracked because I end up helping you with business 
a little bit more than I end up helping you with the life insurance side of things. And that's for a reason. I don't do that because I gravitate there. I do that because if we can make more money on the business side, then we can fill the policy fuller and create that bank faster. And so that it, it is all encompassing. Here's the crazy thing. I have, I had, um, three or four clients in the last month that I've gone through this process, they've worked with other agents. A couple of them have worked with three or four other agents. And I have gone through this process. Nobody has asked them these questions. Nobody has gone through this process with them. I just spent last week with a bunch of agents, about 20 other agents. There's not another agent except the one that I've trained. Um, there is not another agent that does what I do. They, their meetings are very, very different, not right or wrong. It's just not how I do it. I want, I want to know everything that's going on. And most people will have you fill out this questionnaire and then you submit the questionnaire with all these numbers and all this stuff. Most people will have you do that prior to the meeting. And then when you get to the meeting, they go over all of your financials. Yes, the meeting is probably, you know, half hour, 45 minutes where mine are an hour and a half. So a lot of agents will like that. I don't like that because a number one, you guys are never going to get that information submitted to me before the meeting. You're farmers and ranchers. My brain and your brain work very much the same. And I hate filling out paperwork. Absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. 100% hate it. And so I'd never get it done. Now, the other thing is, is when we sit down and we talk about it and we have that conversation, guess what? I'm learning things about you. I am creating a relationship where you get to decide if you want to work with me and if I want to work with you. But there are things that come out of that conversation as you are telling me all of this stuff. There are things that come out of that that would not come out in a document that you send me. And people do do that. Believe me, I have some very organized people that I have met with and I will get a word document before we meet and, you know, giving me an overview of what's going on. All of their expenses are in a spreadsheet. Everything is there, their balance sheet, their P and L's. I get it all. And at the end of the day, I run my meeting exactly the same way. I just don't have to ask you what your loan information is because I got it ahead of time. So I can just copy and paste that into my notes. But guess what? I'm still asking you all of this other information. And it's funny because when I start talking to some people and I'm saying, hey, what's going on with the family? Who's in, who's in the corporation? Are you keeping your entity separate? Da, 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 da. They're like, well, that's not what I came here for. Well, I can't help you if I don't know this. If you want someone to just tell you how much money to put in a policy, then I'm not your person. But I'm here because I want to have a relationship with my clients and I want to know what's going on. So I had a new clients call yesterday and they were talking about all these new things that they're doing. That is so unbelievably exciting to me. It's insane. I absolutely love, 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 love to hear that clients are expanding businesses, that the farm is doing great and what are they doing and how are they doing it? It is amazing. I love it. And so those are things like, I want to help you as much as I can. If you don't want to be helped, if you want to do this all on your own, then it might not, I may not be the person for you, but we should be working together to help you excel. How are you, if you didn't know this beforehand, how are you supposed to know it now? Um, and that's your free hour and a half consultation. That's it. That, I mean, that's not, oh, and then, oh, I'm sorry. I ask you all those questions. And then at the end, I go over and show you how the policy is structured, how loans work. We look at some numbers. I give you, you know, along the way, I've been giving you strategies of how to use it. 
And so then we look at all those numbers and then we can kind of talk about how you want to use it and all that good stuff. So that is what your hour and a half meeting consists of. That's it. Um, then you get to decide what you want to do. No pressure from me. I'm not going to hound you. That's just not who I am. I do not like salespeople. So that's your hour and a half. All I ask is before that hour and a half that you have either read the book or listened to the book. Again, I've said it before in my podcast, listening to the book, I can tell you it is most people do not retain as much as when they read the book because there are lots of numbers in the book and it just makes sense to read it. Because honestly, it's what, 99 pages? And, you know, you've probably, we've probably got 15 pages of pictures with numbers. So it's not like you're reading a ton. Probably read more than that. Probably takes you longer to hang out on Facebook and TikTok and wherever else you might have found me. Um, then, and you're reading that than the book. So I hope that that answered everybody's questions. I hope that that cleared it up. If you guys have enjoyed the podcast and you are listening to the podcast regularly, please leave a review. Please share it. Um, apparently reviews help. That would be fantastic. If you are watching on YouTube, please also leave a comment or a review. If you're a client watching on podcast, how did the first meeting go for you? Let people know. It's so funny because all of you have most likely found me on social media, but it's like you never go back to social media. So people on social media are asking, hey, has anybody read this? And nobody's commenting. Even though I have a thousand clients, nobody's commenting. And so please let me know if you guys have other questions, if you have comments, concerns, whatever, email me, Mary Jo at withoutthebank.com. And I, I will be happy to answer. I answer every single email that comes through there. Um, and, you know, continue listening to the podcast. Otherwise, you guys, oh, and Iowa, 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 please be on the lookout. I will be in Eastern Iowa and I am hoping to do a little seminar in Eastern Iowa. I am hoping to be there within the next 30 days. Um, I am not certain. It is going to be very last minute. So please let me, when I, when I find out it's going to be last minute. So please pay attention to the website, the podcast, um, so that we can get that information out when I'm there. If you want to come to the seminar, we'll have all that on our website. Um, probably social medias of all kinds as well. So be on the lookout, Iowa. Okay. You guys. You have a absolutely fantastic rest of your day.